Hello and welcome back to Byron's Adventures. Now, here's the thing. I've got a bit of an update for you of what has been going on. Now, I was having a pretty significant amount of crashing happening. Now, the crashes are not due to anything that the mods are doing, with the exception of one. The rulership mod. The rulership mod has been giving me some problems. Not in the way that you think. The mod is working perfectly as intended, but the one problem that I was having was that Bidal, the Golden, you know that he got himself taken prisoner in the previous episode, I'm pretty sure I showed you that, maybe if you didn't see that then maybe it was off screen, but he got himself taken prisoner, and as I've said to you beforehand, Bidal, anytime I have made him the leader of a party or anything like that, he has literally gotten himself taken prisoner, no matter what, no matter what, anytime he has any kind of army, he always gets himself taken prisoner for no reason whatsoever. So I decided, okay, um, I'm going to see if I can, you know, get him back somehow. Now, as I was making my way back to this place where I am right now, which is next to, um, next to Argoron, he was ransomed. He actually managed to either escape or he managed to ransom himself or something along those lines. And then as soon as he was ransomed, one second later, boom, crash every single time and I couldn't stop it for any reason the only thing that I could do was expel him from the faction and that's it so what I would say is that if there is anything going to happen so in other words if um, one of our vassals is in trouble and they're about to get taken prisoner I'm gonna need to support them as soon as humanly possible basically and then go on from there but that's what I had to do to try and uh, stop the crashing loop from happening otherwise I was just going to be stuck in that situation anyway you can see here that there's actually a very large army of Kuzate vassals and uh, well I'm actually thinking of attacking them I know I know kind of harsh I think but uh, we'll see if we can maybe make it work uh, also Yara is actually at Diathma at the moment and I would love to be able to go to her and get her kitted out in, in some good stuff and then hopefully we'll be able to make her into a party I'm not entirely sure if we have any space no we have no spaces but she could be a companion in our army or something like that anyway yeah as you can see ah, it seems like this guy is actually going to Diathma as we speak so it seems like I will have to go over there and I suppose defend it. I mean, he, where where else would he go? No, no. It seems like he is going to Diathma. So this is going to be quite kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if anything happens here. Now, I am hoping that what will happen is that we'll get there. We'll be able to get into the garrison. And there's Barney. Be careful, Barney. Be careful. You don't really want to get killed. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Atrion Castle is now under siege. That is hilarious. Bear in mind that there's a lot of people there. There's 285 defenders. Uh, we have a, a pretty big garrison there, all things considered. And I don't think this is a good idea for them to try this, but I guess they'll. I guess they will. Oh no no no! Never mind. Never mind. There you go. They are. Oh no! They're actually splitting off. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. This is really good. All right, so they're just going to be raiding a couple of things now. This is going to be perfect. If we can take some of these people prisoner, the ones that are splitting off, um, how fast are we going and how fast are they going? Okay, so they're going much faster than we are. Um, <laughs> I guess that's because of the you know, infantry in my party at the moment. But I suppose what we can do is we can try and get these people and take them down. They're actually splitting off in a pretty heavy way very surprising that they decided to do that okay so let's see if we can do this come on barney let's go uh i'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here okay oh oh they oh, they decided to go that way okay so barney's going to go in against one person oh this was fantastic barney is such a beast i mean maybe not in his own playthrough i mean technically this is not actually the original barney the original barney is our is byron's father if you don't know anything about the family tree then it's basically barney and his wife, Liena, who used to be of Landian. And then we have Byron, Barnabas, Barney, Bruce, Yara, Yana, and <laughs> all the other children. All the other children. 
and uh, yeah, basically they are uh, they are all children of of Byron's because he's he's decided to call Barney, you know, after his father, you know, and uh, well, we'll see what we can do here. Now, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do a relatively similar thing to to what we've been doing in the previous couple of um, engagements, which is basically charging everyone in, trying to get our horse archers involved in the battle as soon as possible, weakening up the opponent. And then from there, hopefully having an opportunity to uh, send our infantry in, send our archers in and so on and so forth, and uh, doing some damage like that. That seems to be a good way to go. Oh, that guy got murdered. Wow, that was, that was pretty impressive. Pretty impressive, to, to say the least. Yeah, so these are actually Sturgeons, by the looks of things. So... I think these guys are not going to be that difficult for us to deal with and personally I did not want to fight the Kuzate but they are kind of forcing my hand right now you know fighting the Kuzate is really not something that I really badly wanted to do because on the one hand I obviously have you know their units and on the other hand I don't really want to fight units that are so incredibly good at field battles and we've seen how good they can be you know we've seen that firsthand and uh, going up against them is something really not very, not very nice to do. But we're going to have to. We're going to have to do this. Going to have to get out my bow in a second, I suppose. But we're, I'm going to try and do some damage. Just, just randomly, you know, just randomly trying to kill a couple of things here and there. And see if we can maybe do something. Ah, there we go. Nice. Take that guy down. But yeah, you can see the death spiral that is currently happening for us as well it's really fantastic to see and maybe we can do some bam oh yeah nice damage right there against the kuz marksman i'm actually really surprised we haven't taken huge amounts of casualties what's going on here i guess it must be that the armies that we've attacked right now have just not that many really really high tier troops even though i'm seeing a lot of marksmen i'm seeing a lot of imperial elites i i'm not entirely sure what's going on there but uh yeah, I, I don't really know, but Byron is just... Oh, he has become pretty much a monster in battle. He's really, really powerful. And that's actually kind of funny because I think that in due time, his sons and his daughters will become just as powerful, if not more powerful than he is right now. Bear in mind that, of course, because we have the Grow Up Fast mod, it does artificially increase the speed at which my own my own character ages and uh, i know someone actually did mention that in the comments and it's true yeah that is exactly what happens because here's the thing the way that it balances the whole children growing up faster thing is that it makes your own character grow just that much faster as well and personally i don't mind that so much because it kind of keeps the game fresh you're not going to be around on your character for you know a huge amount of time like um i think i i mean it's only been as far as i'm aware it's only been 33 years or something i actually don't know what the original um the original date is for the start of this playthrough but whatever the case i feel like we're we're preparing our children very very nicely and they're going to be ready to go Hopefully quite soon. I'm going to try and rescue a bunch of Kuzates because then I can get them into my army relatively fast. And it would be pretty good to do that, you know? So I don't have to actually even go over to Kuzate territory. I can kind of just take them prisoner and see what we can do with that. And I will take everything because that's generally considered a good idea. And there's Akram. Okay, Barney, you're going to have to chase after him, sir. Do you not want to chase after him? Ah, uh, okay. I guess he's a little bit injured. He must be injured or something like that for him to give up the chase. Because usually I would expect him to never give up the chase. If he if he's acting like his grandfather at all, then, well, we know exactly what happened with him. Yeah, he was just an utter beast, you know. He would just run after everyone, wildly flailing around with his headsman's axe. Oh. Uh-huh. Sulatha has been taken prisoner. Right. Yeah, I, I... I... I can't really do much about that. I'm going to have to... 
I'm going to have to kick her out. I I really don't want to do that, you know. I really don't want to ha have to do that, but if I don't, the game is going to crash. And I was hopeful that that would not be the case. Uh, where is she, anyway? She is... Uh, last seen there, rotate. That's five days ago. Why is she all the way over there? I have no idea why, because she is... Look, why, why is she all the way over there? I, I don't know, that doesn't make much sense, but that was five days ago, so... I guess it... I don't know, would it... Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kick her, and then that's, that's basically it. So we're just going to have to expel. Boom. Uh, I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that by any means, but that's just how it had to be. That is just how it had to be, because if we didn't do that, as I said, the game was just going to crash because it seems to have a bit of a, a compatibility issue with companion vassals being ransomed for some reason. I don't know why that would be, but apparently it does. Okay, so now that we are alone again, well, technically we have our, our children to help us out. So I, I don't think I'm feeling too sorry for myself right now. I think we're, I think we're pretty good, even without the vassals. And we're going to get some of these guys to join us. Nice, nice. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Yeah, all these guys are doing fantastically, as you can see. I wish I had more parties. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why I'm only allowed with Clan Tier 5 to have four parties. I feel like I should be able to have... Uh, I don't know, six, maybe, at least. But, uh, yeah, that's not... That's not how it is. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to take this castle real quick. I don't think it's going to be that difficult to take it. Castles are much, much easier to take than towns. And uh, yeah, we're just going to build all this stuff. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, everyone is growing up. Oh, it seems like Yana is now 18. That's great. That is uh, our wife's namesake, of course. And aha, Pelasora has now become a hero and is ready to fight for the clan. Okay, very nice indeed. That's going to be extremely interesting to see how everyone's doing. And uh, everyone else is, of course, growing up as well. Okay, so there we go. I'll, I need to be a bit careful. Can't be uh, messing around with my... Oh, wait a minute. Who died of old age? Did you see that? Someone died of old age, but I don't know who it was. That is indeed the issue. I have no idea who it was. And I don't know whether you could see either. Maybe I'll see in editing or something like that. But it's unlikely because it was just so fast. I don't know, maybe uh, maybe it doesn't even show me. Uh, I don't really know, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I guess we'll see what happens here too. All right, so we do have a vassal here, but he's only got 65. Oh, okay, there, there we go. There comes the army. Okay, so what do they have? Oh my, wow, they're really weak, aren't they? They only have, um, <laughs> they have 113 nomads i don't even know why you'd want to fight me at, the, at this point with such a small amount of people but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get out my onagers real fast they might actually cause the garrison to sally out which would be a bit of a problem so i'm hopeful that that will not happen let's see what happens here they're not going in they are not going in oh my okay wow are you, are you serious right now? Are you serious? This is a little bit too much, even for me. That is literally 600 units. I'm going to have to leave, which I did not want to do. Not entirely sure how I'm supposed to defeat such a large army. I guess what we can do is try to get them to merge. Try to get them to merge with each other, and then hopefully that will increase their starvation rating. And... That would hopefully make it a little bit more difficult for them. Um, yeah, I don't know whether that... I mean, here's the thing. Funnily enough, I could have taken the uh, army with 253. I could have taken those guys on and probably won. But I did not want to stop my siege. But as it stands, it seems like I had to stop it anyway. But we did do quite a bit of damage in the process. Plus two damage with pole arms while on horseback. We will be taking that. Thank you. Oh, I actually leveled up. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, 
I, I, I have no idea. I really have no idea. 50% more income, plus 10 party size for every vassal. Mm, I mean, steward, steward, stewardship is pretty cool, but uh, I don't know whether that's going to be that useful for us. I mean, I could get, could get pole arms, faster swings with pole arms. That sounds pretty fun, but I can't give any more focus points to it anyway, so it's basically pointless. Guess I'll just do another point in that and another point in vigor, just to maybe make him a little bit better at fighting in general. And we'll see what happens here. Because these guys are going to start starving soon. I'm pretty sure they're going to start starving. So we really just have to wait them out. Ah, hello. Oh, this is perfect. Wait, is he going to besiege something? Yeah, he's besieging Atreon Castle. I hope that Barney is going to get away from that. I hope he doesn't fight them. No, he's running. Okay. Okay, good, good, good job, son. Okay. I hope he... No, he's being attacked, Barnabas. Okay, do I care about the castle or do I care about Barnabas? I kind of care about both of them. I I don't know. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> We're going to do something kind of risky here. I'm going to attack the army straight up. Because what we're going to do is we will try to win this fight. We are outnumbered by a massive amount. And our power level is nowhere near as good... Well, it, I mean, it is kind of near but you know it's not as good as it was in previous fights so that's going to be a huge problem but we'll try it and we'll see if we can prevail um, I'm not liking the look of this that's a lot of tribal warriors right there those guys are pretty good at what they do but I can only hope that my units are just better than theirs that's literally the the thing that needs to be um, looked at at this point because when you're Kuzate against Kuzate, it really just depends on me attacking with my fists on horseback. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, right? Yeah, anyway, it really just depends on what kind of caliber of unit you have. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing that this is, that it actually matters because everything else is negligible. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, yeah, definitely don't want to go in there that much. Thank you. Yeah, I've got to be a bit careful here. I really do not want to get killed if at all possible, so I'm just going to go around in a circle here, try and pick off a couple of people along the way. That guy had a shield up just in time. Take out that heavy horse archer. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, don't die now. Come on, Byron. Your time is not yet here. Thank you very much. We will... Do some more damage. There we go. Nice. Okay. Take out those noble units. Take out some more of these guys. Oh no, really? Look at that. They're not they're they're not dying. They're not dying from one one swing. Byron's getting old. He's not doing as much damage as he used to be able to do. That is not good. Yes, take out that Imperial Elite. Yes, very nice indeed. Okay, I'm I'm pretty happy with how the fight is going so far, but this can turn in an instant. Bear that in mind. Mm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried about this. Okay, I've got to try and focus on a couple of the enemy cavalry as well. I don't see that many, so it seems like they might have been killed? Or taken off their horses? Take out that guy. Okay, ah, uh, wow, this is really, really close. We have 78 and the enemy have 100. I don't know what to do here, actually. This is unheard of for me. Wait, this is... Oh, no! The enemy! Okay, that's actually the enemy. I did not realize that. Okay, that's bad. That is really, really bad. Okay. We are in a very, very bad situation. Okay, here we go. Oh, really? Terrible, terrible. Come on, Byron. You can do much better than that. There we go, there we go. That was a little bit better. We really do not want to be in a situation... Oh, dear. No, why am I blocking? Why am I blocking? I don't have a shield up. Okay, good work. Okay, take out that guy. Maybe take out this one as well. Just just anyone, basically. Just kill anyone. Thank you. Okay, my horse is about to get killed, so I need to be even more careful than before. Uh, but I think this is I think this might very well be a victory for us. We've just got to be extremely careful. Nice. Okay, that was a nice hit. Oh, this is a lot of people right here. These guys are actually really good, too. No. 
Bad timing. Oh, okay. Hello. Okay, come on now. Let's do this. Oh, no. I took some damage. Okay, it's okay. That's okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was blocked by my own... By my own people. <laughs> no. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Take him down. Yeah, there we go. That's what you get. All right. I think that is indeed a victory. <laughs> Can't believe Byron survived. What a crazy old man he is. Wow. There you go. We did it. 41 deaths. Pretty significant losses right there, but most of the losses were not even Kuzade units, which I am very pleased about because... Oh, actually, never mind. We did lose 12 raiders, but raiders are not exactly difficult to you know, level up or anything. But there's 123 renown for us. Good amount of influence as well. I feel like my influence gain for such a large fight should be much more than it is. But, well, what can I say? You know, what can I say? I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it went, considering we actually won and we prevented a siege. And now, you know what this does? Oh yeah, this gives me the opportunity to now go and help Barnabas in the fight that he's currently participating in. And if I can get there in time, then we should be able to assist him with another victory. I can only hope that we'll be able to do that. Cross your fingers, because we're going to need it. We are going to need it. All right, so let's uh, let's get a couple more of those nomads. Because bear in mind that I can recruit a, co a couple of them from... I'm over my prisoner limit. Are you serious? Okay. Oh, what? My prisoner limit is literally 30. Oh, yeah, it's because all my guys are literally wounded. Okay, yeah, so I guess I'm going to take a whole bunch of looters because that will actually increase my party, my uh, prisoner prisoner limit, hilariously enough. So, okay, I will take all of this as well. And now we will make a very quick stop. Oh, come on, Barnabas. Ah, oh, no, I, I can't get there in time. I wouldn't have been able to get there in time even if I made my way there immediately he just got himself caught way too fast and that was the problem all right so it's going to be our mission now to hunt down akram who is the fellow that uh, just took our son prisoner and we will be attempting to free him as soon as possible so let's just put all of these people in the garrison here wow we've got 36 yeah, we have 36 of the opponent in our dungeon, which is hilarious. And Yara is the governor, isn't she? Yeah, she's the... She, what? Why, yeah, she, why is she the governor? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take her into our party. I have no idea why she's the governor. As long as she's not running around with Lucille, I think I'm pretty happy with that. But anyway, um, let's have a look here. Um... Yeah, that's the. <laughs> yeah, I know. That, I know that Lucille is not the governor's weapon. I was just making a a, a generalized reference to the show. But anyway, um, we're going to level, uh, not level, but we're going to convert a bunch of these people to come and help us. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's what we like. Level up a couple of these guys too. Wish there was a level up all button. I think there is actually a mod for that. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So, Yara, Yara, where are you? There you are. Okay, fantastic. Let's uh, let's start leveling her up now then, shall we? Oh, she's got two-handed weapon proficiency as well. That must be due to her mother, I assume. Let's get a little bit of extra HP. And then a little bit of this, more arrows. She's going to, of course, be a horse archer. And she's got good tactics skill as well. Might want to focus on that quite a bit, so let's focus on that. Uh, we're going to give a roguery skill too, because she is going to be raiding a whole bunch of villages, no doubt. Let's give her some more riding skill here too. More endurance. And she's going to have one focus point in bows at the moment, but she's going to get more as she plays, of course. So we're just going to give her that. She has a good steward skill, potentially. Mm, I guess we'll just give her some more cunning at this point, and there we go. Okay, that's going to be pretty nice for her. She's going to be a very mobile, very fast uh, raiding kind of character. 
and then we're going to go into our inventory and try and give her some good gear too. So, yeah, I mean, even Komar could definitely use some upgrades, but uh, yeah, I would prefer to kit our, uh, our daughter out first. So let's have a look and see what she can use. We're going to give her the Western Longspear for the moment, and we can give her any shield. I don't really care what I'm actually giving her right now. I'm basically just giving her some random stuff because then what she can do is she can automatically equip it. And there you go. Done. Boom. And now she's using some, some great stuff. Some actually really good stuff. Better than what I gave my other my other people, that's for sure. Uh, I guess I just didn't have anything good available at that point. Yeah, but uh, Yara is looking very, very good right now. And, uh, oh yeah, she can't actually even become a party, but now that Barnabas has been uh, taken prisoner, I suppose, Yara is going to get sent out, and we'll see what she's capable of doing. Hopefully something really, really cool. And I will give her... Should I give her the looters? I feel like this is a huge, like, slap in the face. So I don't really want to give her more than five of them, just to kind of prevent her from being attacked, I guess. And uh, we'll just kind of put these guys in the garrison here just just for fodder basically just for numbers and that's what we'll do there we are okay looking pretty good uh, what about the garrison here is the garrison still looking pretty nice oh wow these guys are pretty crazy good so i'm going to take a bunch of these take some more of these too take some more of these palatine guards wow yeah that's pretty crazy okay so let's do this let's go and hunt down akram shall we he deserves it after all, we have a massive scouting skill, so we're going to be able to very easily track him down. And he, he deserves it because he has taken... Oh, look at this. He's hunting down all of our sons. Can you believe that? Look at that. He's hunting down Bruce now. Don't worry, Bruce. Keep running. Keep running, sir. I will make it there in time, or will I? I don't think I will, actually. I'm kind of slow. What is actually going on here? There seems to be some weird stuff going on, as you can see. It seems as though he's actually not engaging him. I think he knows that I am going to absolutely destroy his army if I am anywhere nearby. And so he's a little bit dubious about that, I would assume, because otherwise there's no way that they would have been uh, so dubious about it, I think. But anyway, I have a lot of people that are still injured. And I'm actually wondering who they are. Hired Blades. Most of the time, Kuzate Raiders, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of wounded. Don't attack them yet, Bruce. Not yet. There we go. He's listening. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, it's time for me to go in then. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's help out Bruce. Okay, so this is fantastic. This is just so, so cool. I love these kinds of encounters and these kinds of situations because even though they're really, really close, you know, I mean, we had a fight, you know, the previous fight was extremely close. We, we could have lost, you know, we easily could have lost, but it's just such a cool story, you know, it's such a cool story to, to literally have two very difficult decisions to make whether you go and, and help out Barnabas which you might not even get to because we of course were too slow to even get there in time or whether you go and hit you help uh, you help the castle or, or uh, whether you try to you know defend it in, in the best possible way that you can it's just such a crazy amount of things happening okay, I'm gonna bring out my pole arm once again and try and do some massive damage to these guys and I'm hopeful that we will do okay nice nice damage nice damage just a huge amount of damage that's all we need that's all we need just a huge amount of cleaves look at this nice and maybe we can do some more against some of these cavalry units wow it seems like every single cavalry I come, ac I come across apart from those two right here are my own units which is Kind of crazy. Take him out. Where is that guy? There he is. Get him. Ah. Okay, well, <laughs> that is. Ah, oh, that is actually one of the easiest fights that we've had so far. Can't believe it, actually, because this guy had, what, 220 units or something like that? I have 180, Bruce has 60 or something like that, so it, it is kind of crazy to, to think that we are doing so much damage 
Wow. Bruce, I, I think Bruce is just an absolute beast. He just seems to do exactly the right thing in every single situation. Wow. Can't believe it. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to be rescuing a whole bunch of troops. And I'm actually going to give a bunch of troops to Bruce as a result of him being just so good. So we're just going to give him a whole bunch. We will, of course, also give Yara a couple of troops as well because... Uh, I didn't realize I had such good units in the garrison, so we're going to try and find her again. And maybe we can give her some. That would be nice. Uh, let's get some horse archers. We could... Uh, these guys are not really going to... I mean, the tier 3 ones and some tier 4s are probably going to end up joining us at some point, but I guess I'll just take some nomads too, and that will be fine. All right, we'll take all this loot as well. Oh. Oh, hello. You managed to escape, didn't you? Uh, it seems like they actually can escape quite easily because they have such small armies now. All right, so we're going to give him some looters. I know, I know. We don't really want to give him looters or anything like that, but we're going to give him some Imperial trained infantrymen, infantrymen, archers, recruits, and how many does he have now? I think he's, yeah, he's actually got pretty close to maximum capacity, so I don't know whether I can really give him anything else without weighing him down a super large amount. So I guess I'm just going to leave him the way he is right there. And is there anything that I can actually give him? Can I... Oh, I can give him money. Oh, wow. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do... Oh, he has... Can you transfer these to me? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to transfer these. I'm actually going to give him some money. Oh, uh, can I not? Oh, it seems like I can't give him money. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, sure. That's fine. Okay, so I have now um, gained two prisoners, because he obviously took them prisoner. And they are there. Okay, fantastic. That's great. That is really, really nice. And we are going to now leave, because of course I... Can I, can I chase these guys? No. No, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to catch up. And then look at him. He goes back to raiding. That is hilarious that he goes back to raiding that. I just really wish I could make them vassals without having to worry about, you know, anything crashing or anything like that. I, I, I think that, you know, uh, the developers of Bannerlord will most likely implement something like that in the, in the future. But obviously it's not going to happen that soon because the development is going to take a while. But anyway, I'm going to build the siege camp, going to get some uh, going to get some cool onagers up and running, and we'll see if we can maybe finally take this castle. Ah, now what do we have here? Oh yes, <laughs> it seems like... Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Kuzades. Hmm, the Kuzade. Ah, they, they're very, they're very amusing, aren't they? Because they're, they're literally like... Let's do war, you know, let's do war against each other. And then all of a sudden they come out with these insanely large armies. This guy is actually kind of dangerous, by the way. He is actually quite dangerous. So if we do end up attacking him, which I think I'm probably not going to end up doing until they have starved themselves out a little bit because he has, I think, like 41 Dark Khans or something like that. And those guys are... Well, I think you can kind of tell they're probably going to be pretty good. Now, look at Yara here. You see Yara? I sent her... Well, I actually didn't send her anywhere. She was actually in the fight, wasn't she? And look at her. She's already gained... Wait a minute. No, I did send her into her, into her own party. But yeah, anyway. So she has gained 12 levels already. Yeah. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. So if I can find her again, then we'll be able to take her into our army and we'll be able to level her up and all that stuff and that's going to be great so let's actually just take a quick look here this guy's going to be very careful isn't he Bortu is going to be very careful he doesn't want to be in a situation where we can catch him out but i'm i'm thinking we're going to try if we can to try and split them up at least a little bit and we'll see how that goes maybe some of them will actually give up which would be the most advantageous for us. Just going to have a look at my party here real quick just to make sure that they're all doing nicely. Yeah, a couple of people can level up. Not those guys though, unfortunately. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just a, such a shame that war horses are so difficult to come across. But uh, I guess doing battles against the horse faction, the horse faction, is definitely going to help us out with that, potentially. All right, so they're probably going to besiege this, aren't they? Oh, no, they're defending... What? They're defending of Castle or something like that? Okay, this is kind of weird. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with these guys. They're defending of Castle. Where is that, actually? Because... As far as I'm aware, they don't... Own anything in this area? I don't think so. Ah, maybe down here. No, that's, that's, oh, no, 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 not over here either. Okay, that's kind of weird. But, uh, oh, no, oh my. Okay, uh, <laughs> the Crusade have been uh, quite busy, haven't they? Yeah, they have basically completely eliminated the Sturgeons. And I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. But I guess what we'll do is we'll continue shadowing them and we'll see what happens in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.